In this video, we will look at a few examples that will allow us to practice working with interior angles in convex polygons. In example A, it says, find the sum of the interior angles of an octagon. When you see octagon, you should remember that's a polygon with eight sides. In order to do this problem, you need to know the formula for the sum of the interior angles of any polygon. And that formula is 180, which is the number of degrees in a triangle, times n minus 2, because there will always be n minus 2 triangles in any polygon with n sides. So in this case, we have an octagon with 8 sides, which means it will be divided up into 6 triangles, because 8 minus 2 is 6. So we're going to do 180 times 6 and get our answer of 1,080 degrees. So the sum of the interior angles of an octagon is 1,080 degrees. Let's go to example B. The sum of the interior angles of a polygon is 1,980 degrees. How many sides does this polygon have? So this problem is the opposite of the last problem because we're already given our answer of the sum and we're going to need to work backwards to figure out the number of sides this shape must have had. We can still use our formula that the sum equals 180 times the number of sides minus 2. In this case, we know our sum is 1,980. So we can set up this equation and solve for n. The first thing I'm going to do is distribute the 180. So I have 1,980 equals 180n minus 360. To solve this, I have to add 360 to both sides. And I get 2,340. Finally, Divide both sides by 180, and you get an answer of 13, which means that n, the number of sides, is 13. So how many sides do this, does this polygon have? It has 13 sides. All right, let's look at example C. How many degrees does each angle in an equiangular nonagon have? So equiangular means that all the nine angles in the nonagon are the same measure. So what we're going to do first is figure out the sum of the interior angles, and then we'll divide that by nine because we know there are nine congruent angles. So the sum is going to be 180 times 9 minus 2, same formula we used in the last two problems. So that's 180 times 7, which is 1,260 degrees. So the sum of the angles is 1,260. That means each angle, or one angle, is going to be that sum divided by 9, because there are 9 congruent angles there. So we're going to do 1,260 divided by 9, and we get 140 degrees. So our answer is going to be each angle in the nonagon is 140 degrees.